What's up, YouTube? Sorry for the lack of videos lately, but I'm here to bring you another video of my 1 16th scale Erivo VXL. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the upgrades I've done to this car and how they have infect or affected the performance. So, to start the list of upgrades, I'm going to start off by saying there is a crap ton on this vehicle. Mostly due to my driving error, I like to drive my vehicles fairly hard and punish them and bash them to get the most fun out of them. They never sit on my shelves, or they sit on my shelves a lot because they're broken. <laughs> but to start off the list, I'm going to, it looks pretty pretty under there. You can see a lot of stuff. So I'm going to talk about them. Um, First things you can see are these aluminum shocks from Inta G. I found the old shocks were a little too soft and with the stock, or I even bought upgraded springs for those shocks from Traxxas. But they're still, I felt they are too soft. So I got these shocks from Inta G and put some 60 weight oil in there and they feel and act great for this vehicle. I also got this Savox mini waterproof servo over here because I felt like it was just underpowered on the steering and I needed something that, to turn those wheels a little better. The stock wheels, I actually have felt no need to upgrade them. A lot of people do, but I actually feel they have great traction. Um, also you can see a motor heat sink. When I'm running to a lipo pretty fast, the motor gets pretty warm, so I just have that to keep the heat down. I also have on all four sides aluminum drive shafts. I'm not sure exactly where I got them from. I'll let you know in the comments below. But I found running, especially when you're running the series connector with two batteries, you're going at really high speed. The stock drive shafts did not hold up for me. I also have all four front, or eight total, um, A arms. Front and rear, all aluminum from Intigy. They're working really great. Even though Intigy doesn't have the greatest rep, I found that these worked pretty good. Um, I originally had knuckles from Intigy, but those, I, the A-arms held up, but the knuckles didn't at all. They just didn't, well, they didn't fit right, so I was a little disappointed with that. So I went with some RPM knuckles there on all four corners, which are great. They took out a lot of the play and are holding up really well for me. So those are all the upgrades I've put on the car, but stock things I've had to replace, I just decided not to go upgrade because there was no reason, either it was my error that broke them, or it was expensive. I broke the front bumper, so I just bought the stock one again, but that's because I ran into a tree going fast, silly me. Um, I also had to replace the chassis. When I put on A-arms, I had to um, tight, do all those screws up top and I didn't have the screws in right so I think it was putting some stress on the chassis so when I would have impact it cracked the chassis right down the middle there so new chassis that's mostly my error though so I want to say for the record that I drive my cars pretty ferociously I'm not an expert in everything RC related so I, that's why I've had some of the breakages that I've had I feel like if you drive your car more sparingly than I have definitely won't run into the same amount of breakages and having to upgrade as many things as I have. So that concludes my video. Let me know what you think of the video and please like and subscribe. And also ask any questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.